Hey everybody, it's Jeff. This will be part 8 of the Roden uh, Holt 75 artillery tractor. We're just right to the point where we need to start painting. Uh, unfortunately it's really cold out and I can't ventilate the air, the uh, spray booth right now. But Here's where we're at. Um, I've got all the controls and everything in. Um, I've got this all in pieces so that it can be painted separately. I made a little bit of a mistake. Um, I attached this and I think I made it just a little bit too low. You, know, you can see even with raising this up just a little bit uh, it's a little bit on the low side so I'm going to have to take it loose again and raise it up a little bit. But um, instructions don't tell you really. You're kind of guessing. But the, the uh, seats in and all the controls are in and everything and we're just about to the point where we need to start painting. I've got the roof, the corrugated metal roof fixed. Um, I spent a lot of time messing with that and I'll show you in the video. But let's go down to the bench and uh, I'll show you how things are progressing. Okay, and I'll have some pictures at the end. Okay, be right back guys. Thank you. I've done a few things uh, off camera uh, since the last video. One thing is working on this roof. This is um, this had a major sink line right through the middle of it. I put Mr. Surfacer on it. Uh, I think I used 1000 and sanded it and then primed it with 1500 and sanded it and I think I repeated it about three times. If you use your imagination you can just barely see it but I'm gonna call that good. Much much better than it was right in through here but I think it looks pretty good. Okay um, so I got that done And I uh, went ahead and glued the fenders to the the radiator, and they're, they're not the radiator to the center part with the transmission and everything. Uh, stabilized it quite a bit, gluing it together, and I put a couple of pieces of styrene here and here um, the joint was really loose to, to kind of stabilize it and I determined that this brace for the roof needed to go right against the back here uh, I did have some rivets on there so I went ahead and just took those off real quick and glued that on it seems to be just about in the right position we don't have an awful lot left to do as far as assembly goes. Um, I'd like to start getting some of this stuff painting, painted, but once again, weather's not cooperating with me. It's uh, four degrees Fahrenheit outside. Feels like minus three. And yeah, that's Fahrenheit. So uh, I probably won't be getting the window open and doing any painting today, maybe tomorrow. But we had more snow the last couple of days. So it's going to be a little while till I can get some more priming done. I, luckily I got the roof done on a day when it was kind of warm a few days ago. Um, let's see what else I did off camera. I went ahead and glued the, the uh, flywheel and everything on here. I spent quite a bit of time you know, making sure it was nice and straight. So that's good to go. And I think that's about all I've done off camera. So let's go ahead and bring the instructions up here and I'll show you. We don't have very much left to go before we can uh, hopefully get weather where it'll cooperate and we can do some painting. In the uh, last video we finished, we did step 26 which is this little quadrant. I don't know if it's throttles or it's probably spark and throttle. Uh, that's kind of the way a lot of the old engines were. Um, the, in the next step they have you glue it to the, to the uh, 
steering shaft here so I went ahead and glued that on uh, since it's so small I didn't want to lose it okay so that's glued on set that aside here and we'll go on ahead a little bit now the braces and things for the for the uh, roof in 25 will have to wait a little while yet let's go on here to 27 okay I'm going to keep this separate from the main part until I get some painting done but we can go ahead and start adding some pieces now this uh, this tank from step 21 I'm, I'm going to paint it separately too but it will go right here okay that'll be where it'll fit bring the camera in just a little bit closer so that's where that's going to go we do have I'm not sure how this is all going to fit here we've got some linkages and things to to get in here we're going to save that for now and then let's look at these we've got a little bit of a, a linkage that'll be uh, part 23a it'll go right here so I'm assuming the tank is going to straddle that go ahead and get that in place Yeah, it's been a busy week again. Multiple doctor's appointments. I had uh, an appointment to get my taxes all done up, so that's all taken care of. Just didn't leave me a lot of model time this week. Okay, 18F. And 4A. Gear shift lever. And this goes right here, and I'll have to adjust it once I get some glue on it, I think. Let's get a little, turn this a little bit. Okay. Put a touch of glue in there. Don't forget guys, the uh, commercial group build is starting the first of the month. If you want to join in, go to uh, Rob's and Jason's channels. I'll leave the link for uh, uh, rims models and, and model kit stuff. Ooh, boy, that just went right up the shaft there a little bit. Get that where I want. Here. Okay. That's going to finish. Well, let's see how this fits. This is going to have to straddle that little linkage, it looks like. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'll have to paint all that separate because there's no way I'd be able to paint in there with the tank in the way. Okay, let's move on. This is uh, step 28. We've got all kinds of little linkages and things. Let's go out here a little bit. We can get it kind of on camera. Okay, I've got all the pieces all ready to go here. The uh, let's set this over a little bit right now. This is the steering shaft. This is 6F. I can go ahead and put the uh, steering wheel on it, but I'm not going to glue this in place yet. It kind of it crosses the uh, 
you know, from this part to the to the frame. So I want to keep that all separate. Until after painting. Okay, I'm going to let that dry, and then there's a gear, a gear I've got to put on this end, but I'm going to let the steering wheel dry good before we go to that step. Um, got all the parts here. I want to find 9H, which is right there. And... 12F, which is right there. Now this has a hole in the base down here, which I had to drill out. This is the seat where the seat goes, just like so. Okay, let's glue that in. Seat is 18E. Big old tractor seat. And there is a locating hole. Doesn't fit terribly well, but it'll do. Not too much glue. There hasn't been one single part in this build that I haven't had to rework. There was absolutely nothing that you could just take off the sprue and clean the clean the seams and put it on. Every last part had to have something done. Which I don't mind. It's part of the modeling. But uh, it is time consuming. This will go right here. Okay. The locating marks are almost non-existent. Second. Okay. That's where that goes. And then we have thirteen F. Let's find that. And that'll go right beside that last part we did. I've test fitted all this, so hopefully it'll still fit. Come on.
This next one, I'm sure the best order. Let's do 17. F and 18B. This is a little bit of a let's see this will go this way. Like so. Okay. the best way to do this. Put some glue here. Put that through there. And then fourteen. Yeah. And this all is supposed to go together. Give it a second. There's no, uh, it's just a slip bit, so there's nothing to keep it there. Better hold it in the right position until it, until the glue sets. Come on. There it goes. Okay. And then we have just a couple of more pieces, which would be 7F and 15F. There's 15F. And 7F. And 7F will go to the inside, and there's holes for these. What we can do with this. Okay. And then this. And I had to re drill the holes bigger because they didn't fit. Let's 
to go through there and through there. Okay. I'll put a picture up so you can see what that all looks like and we got one more which is 19B a little oversized so it doesn't doesn't locate real well all right and then this tank will go here pretty pretty busy little cockpit there and then I have these gears let's see that fits pretty well be a gear on the steering on the uh, worm gear at the bottom but this will sit just about like this but I'm not going to attach that because I want to make sure that I get paint on everything okay so that's kind of how that's going to look okay guys um, that let me look at the instructions a little bit here that's the main part of what's left I've got to put this little gear on down here and I've got to put these two little uh, rings on which that's not a big deal and then the roof This is just taped on still. This goes here. Okay. It's really, really tricky. Just like that. Boy. Okay, that goes here. This goes here. That will be painted separately. Get that in there just the way I want. I don't have the tracks on it so it's sitting a little low to the back right now. I've got to put the radiator on which I'll paint separate 
and then I've got the exhaust and the roof and that's gonna pretty much get us to the point where let's do a little let's do this real quick okay and let's see let's see if we can switch this There we go. All right. I can set that off where you can see a little bit better. There's all the little parts I just put on today. All kinds of little levers and gears and things. So the um, whoops, the radiator. So, about like that, okay, I've got to put the exhaust on still, this will sit, let's see here, about here, like I say this has got to be a little bit higher because of the tracks that's about it guys it's about time to start doing some painting okay so uh, we're at 25 minutes I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and uh, as soon as I get some better weather we'll we'll uh, get on some painting and uh, it'll be too long we'll have this built and then we can get started on the uh, commercial vehicle group build okay I'll put some pictures up of the uh, what we did today. Okay. Alrighty, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, we'll talk to you real soon. Okay? Bye-bye.